Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Heroes Chronicles spin-off series for Heroes of Might and Magic 3. In Chapter 4, Tarnum must discover what had caused all of the good dragons to flee Avli, and then confront the Dragon Queen of Nyon. Alrighty, Scenario 3, The Dragon Mothers. Tarnum must rescue the Gold Dragon Mothers so he can free all the good dragons. Do not lose Tarnum. All heroes will be limited to level 18, but Tarnum and two of his best captains will transfer to the next scenario. We're going to roll with one attack. Let's do this. The Gold Dragon Mothers gave birth to all good dragons and still retain a link with their children. So Tarnum set out to rescue the Dragon Mothers and remove the enchantment Mutari had placed on the green and gold dragons. Now that the good dragons fight for the Dragon Queen, several communities on the outer borders of Avli have rebelled against the Elf King to side with the dragons. They have no real leader, but they do stand in my way from reaching the gold and green dragons. Numerous gold dragons have been seen in the area, so many that they must be hiding in the local caves. Now I have the task of finding them. Aspen and the Dragon Talker have come up with a plan to use the vial of dragon's blood. Since it would be impossible for me to track down every good dragon and touch them with the blood, I must find the gold dragon mothers, the most powerful of their breed. As the Dragon Talker explains, the ten dragon mothers have a magical link with all green and gold dragons. All we need to do is cure them and the good dragons will return to our side. A band of centaur captains ride out in front of you, determined to do battle. When you ask them why they fight you, one of them says, The dragons are gone. Without them we are weak. Better to join them than to die foolishly. As they literally ride in front of nine uh, sharpshooters. Okay. <laughs> How did that work out for you? <laughs> uh, sometimes centaurs make questionable choices. <laughs> this is a, actually a relatively big map and there's an underground I've received word from a scout that there is a heavily manned anti-magic garrison to the south the elves and dwarves within refuse to leave and at the moment I don't have the forces to take the garrison sooner or later I may have to deal with them but for now I am told I can simply go around So the enemy can just stage attacks against me, good to know. And we found the entrance to the underground, so that's helpful. Battle dwarves protect this sawmill and refuse to allow you passage until you explain why the good dragons now fight for Nyon. You tell them of the power Mutari holds over all dragons. Although they show no fear, the dwarves seem shocked into silence. That there ain't right, one says, and the entire group requests to join your forces. Hell yeah, Jimmy, let's go. Good old battle dwarves. At least they don't try to take on nine sharpshooters. They've got some sense, at least, unlike our, uh, our centaur captains. Fool of a duke. I mean, we could take on. Not to know. Yeah, probably not. Particularly want to fight Grand Elves if I can help it. Ambush, oh boy. Oh, 
Oof. That's unfortunate. There was a lot of uh, enemies. Well, take two, I guess. This is rather unfortunate. Good place to set up an ambush, though. <laughs> Well, that's interesting. A few green dragons protecting what I can only assume is plus one attack, defense, spell power, and knowledge. Nice. We'll grab that later. Kind of want to know where our opponents are, to be honest. Looks like these harpies are blocking my way. Definitely ain't taking it out with Malcolm. He's a weak source. Mm, I don't think we need to use nine against that. Take two, as they say. They want to kind of push towards getting our city hall, as always. Need to get that Moolah rolling in. Definitely take on Drendoids at weak source. Don't really need the XP so much these days. We're already pretty strong. Like we're gonna get XP anyway and we'll probably get more than enough XP just by fighting dragons. <laughs> so... Captain Valita, the scout I rescued from a pit fiend's prison, completed her sharpshooter training recently. She's a natural with the bow. But I have noticed that Valita, who was once a highly respected leader, has become quiet and solitary. Whenever someone tries to strike up a conversation with her, she answers with single word sentences until that person goes away. As such, I'm reluctant to give her more responsibility. I suspect the months she spent in the torture chambers of our enemy has caused this change. Wood smoke attracts your attention to this remote spot where you find a group of demons and things camped, attempting to conceal themselves in the trees. They appear to be transporting something of great power, perhaps to your enemy. Do you wish to attack them now? Oh yeah, I want that artifact. Easy, bruv. This will be a very straightforward fight. I mean, slow just really does change everything. I genuinely think it's like one of the strongest spells in the game, like Mass Slow. Like the way it just kind of transforms the battlefield is kind of nuts. Especially when you've got ranged units, it's like, okay, well. Good luck getting across the map. <laughs> Randomly getting loads of troglodytes. I think we could take Minotaur Kings. They're not the fastest. Coupled with slow, we'll pop them off before they even get here, I think. Again, this would be a bit more of a challenging fight with uh, without slow, but with slow... To be honest, I don't even think we need to waste spell power or spell points on this fight. Beautiful. Ooh, air magic. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love to see it. So I've still got... I need... Ideally, I need pathfinding or logistics. Logistics would be the preferable of the two. You definitely don't have a chance of getting both now, unfortunately, but air magic is just too good to overlook. Like, we can't not get that skill. Despite my misgivings, I've decided to allow Captain Valita to continue leading some of the men. She's capable of handling herself and the others. I just wish I was more confident in her mental state. 
I have been on both sides of the torture chamber, and I know that even a week under hot pokers can seem like a lifetime. The month she spent in captivity must have felt like an eternity. Air magic, okay. Oh, for free, nice. Okay, you have to go up here, I see. Some troops from this area who still remain loyal to the Elf King are holding the road to one of the renegade towns in the far south. Since I have little time myself, I have sent word to Captain Valita to build herself a good sized army and take that town. Okay, this, mon this might not be a great fight for us. Hopefully they don't target the sharp sh Never mind. Don't really want to be losing too many sharpshooters since I don't have a good way to build them right now. Luckily, Drendroids are great. Was also free. Nice. Naturally. and transport some troops from one to another. After my advisor, Aspen beat me at yet another game of chess, the old elf leaned back in his chair. I've received word from the elf king, Tarnum, he said. Why didn't I know of this? I snapped. I was still a little sore about losing. I keep my own communications with many people. The Elf King sent word that he knows you on an important quest, but if you have the time, he requests that you attempt to take back the three renegade towns in this area. That's just going to delay me if I have to think about that too, I said. True, but I think the Elf King is attempting to prepare for all-out war. The Nions have a head start on us. When they decide to march, dragons or not, they will have an advantage, and the Elf King doesn't want Mutari to have even more resources in her grasp. I see, I said. Well, next time you catch the Elf King's ear, tell him I'll do what I can.
Another ambush. <laughs> of course. Retreat. Wow, that is such a big army. An odd target. Oh, at least it's a pre built base. Take that. So, so badly. Kerbin, my dwarf master of supplies, comes to me grumbling about my lack of enthusiasm in retaking the renegade towns in the area. The dragons are my concern, I say, not these rebels. Look, I don't care about no rebels, but those towns can supply us with lots of gold, troops too. Troops enough for you to find those precious dragons of yours, Kerbin says. I had not thought of it that way.
Jesus, the attack. It's insane. The fact that we lost so little troops there is pretty impressive. I'll be honest, like the Rampart track is probably one of my favorite tracks in uh, Heroes 3. I mean, it's so good. So goddamn good for a track and for its age as well. Lest we forget. Several unicorns stand in your way as if they guard something of value. They charge at you before you can explain that you're not a threat. Rude. How dare they? I'll teach them. <laughs> Christ, these freaking sharpshooters, man. <laughs> so ridiculously busted. God damn. Ooh, yeah. Expert water magic. Now we're talking. What? <laughs> Why? Why is there 100 to 249 silver pegasi? Guarding a hill fort of all things? There are dozens of tents pitched outside an old man's hut. As you walk among them, you realise these people have recently been displaced from their homes. May I help? You ask the old man who seems to be their leader. Oh, how nice of you to offer. Our need is great. In the recent gold dragon attacks, all these people have lost their homes, and I'm afraid there are more to come. We need supplies, you see, 25 wood and ore to build homes, and 15,000 gold to buy food. If you bring us these things, I can convince a band of 150 battle dwarves to join your cause. I'll do what I can, you say. Damn, 150 battle dwarves, hashtag worth. And we got a capital, so actually all we need is the money, so... I think we should be good either next turn or the turn after. I still don't understand why there's 250, um, up to 250 silver pegasi guarding a hill fort of all things really is it really that much protection <laughs> it's not even that good useful yes ain't that useful i received a report from captain valita today about her progress everything was in order although she seemed to gloss over the fact of an ambush that claimed the lives of a few of her men i've decided to take a clue from aspen i recruited one of my sharpshooters to spy for me I'm sending the man to join Valita's forces under orders to keep a close eye on her. Once my spy departs, however, I immediately regret my actions. There was a time when I never would have considered such an underhanded practice such as spying. Amazing, you are so kind. Would you like to know where to find those 150 battle dwarves I promised? Yeah. I do have no money now though, which is a small price to pay. Of course. Three hundred. What? Can someone please tell me why the hell silver pegasi are so goddamn cheap to upgrade? What? <laughs> like the difference is like chalk and cheese, man. They're so much better, and yet they're like twenty-five gold each to upgrade. What? What? <laughs> In what world is that logical? Crazy, crazy! I tell thee. I so, so all the enemies are in the south, I get that, but man, how have we not come across a single one? Unless they're all in the underground? But these are Avli, so they why would they be underground? That doesn't make sense. 
I guess we really do need to take that um, anti-magic garrison in order to access the enemy. There just really isn't much room. I mean, I get that's where we got to go, but... There can't be any enemy bases on the surface, surely. There's just not enough room for them. Kind of perplexed at that. But, like, why would there be rampart bases on the ground? It doesn't... It doesn't add up. Unless we're against Nyon, but they said that Avli was our, uh, like, renegade rampart, so... Huh. Interesting. Certainly a choice. But damn, that many silver Pegasi is scary. <laughs> like, Pegasi in small numbers, not really much of a problem. In large numbers, they're actually really, really deadly. My spy's first report is rather mundane. There has been no strange behaviour from Captain Valita, and so far she has held her own during combat. Her men, however, respect her skills but feel distant from her. They don't feel that she cares for them, or even for herself. Apparently in combat she turns wild as if releasing all the emotions that has been kept bottled within. I know from experience that bottled anger can be dangerous when finally released, and oftentimes that rage can't be directed only towards your enemy. There have been times when the Berserker Fury has claimed the lives of friends, as well as enemies. Tarnum would definitely know. Well, there goes all my money. Time to take down this garrison. Wow, not a lot there at all. A young man meets you at the door to his hut and asks why you have come. I'd like to talk to the wise one within, you reply. I am sorry, my master only teaches those of great power and knowledge. When you are skilled enough, you may return. And the young man closes the door politely. Ten spell power and knowledge, okay. Well, Tarnum can definitely uh, do that. I kind of wish the game would tell you what you actually get as a reward, rather than having to second guess. Okay, so we are against Nyon. Oh, that's confusing. I thought we were against Renegade, Rampart, Towns. Oh, unless they meant the, um, the neutral towns were the Renegades. Ah, perhaps that's what they were referring to. I, uh, I see. Uh, still no logistics. That's unfortunate. Sorry, but I received word that only a captain named Velito should be allowed to pass. The elven guard shouts down from one of the windows. So it is you, Velita, says the guard. Not far beyond this gate is one of those renegade towns. We tried to take it ourselves, but lost many men. We manned this tower instead so there would be no threat to the elf king. No telling what kind of preparations they've made in the meantime. So if you want to pass, you'd best prepare for a fight. Do you wish to pass now? No, that is good to know though. It is definitely good to know. You approach a cart loaded with lumber. The dwarf driving the cart draws his axe as you approach. Stand ye back, bandits, he shouts. Bandits, you say? We're no bandits, sir. We're the Elf King's army. The dwarf stares closer at you and nods. Yep, you look too orderly to be thieves. There's been a lot of ambushes on this road these days. If you're travelling here, I'll keep your eyes open if I were you. I will. Thank you. <laughs> Scottish. I wish I was good at accents. I really do. Heh, 
<laughs> of course. As careful as you've been, you're still caught by surprise when some elves spring from the trees. They're immediately followed by Pegasi swooping down from the mountains. These must be the bandits the dwarf was talking about. Oof, that's a lot of them. Jesus. Okay. Luckily, Maslow is busted. Cool. Freaking hell. <laughs> it's absurd. Oh man, I actually wasn't expecting that to kill outright. Well, I look in the damage numbers, I'm not actually surprised anymore. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, max level, okay, cool. Yeah, some dragons. You come across some green dragons lounging in the hot sun. They turn as you approach and for a moment you see a flash of recognition in their faces. Then their eyes go blank and all they see is an enemy that must be destroyed. You draw your weapon knowing that you must defend yourself. Wow, that's a good trade. Holy... <laughs> Jesus. Aspen approached me earlier today with his chessboard under one arm. I'm not in the mood for a game today, I said. Oh, these days I just play you for the opportunity to talk, Aspen said, sitting across from me. He set the board between us and slowly placed the pieces on the board. Do you have something to say? Aspen smiled and made the first move. I always lost quickest when you made the first move. I have a concern about one of your captains, Aspen said. Which one? I asked, although I suspected. Velita. I'm handling it, I said sharply letting him know that I would hear nothing more about it. Aspen nodded and waited for me to make my move. Knowing the old elf, he would not leave the matter of Captain Velita alone for long. Well, that's going to be, uh, I think, an interesting story that's going to develop over there. Ooh, pathfinding, that's not bad. Definitely want that on Velita still want logistics but chances of me picking that up I don't know at this point I think that ship has sailed you see a massive cave up ahead possibly the new dwelling of the good dragons but as you approach lots of Medusa queens slither out from their hiding places with their bows notched you should have realized a cave such as this wouldn't be left unguarded might as well be <laughs> What good 36 of them? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. No. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> First aid, boys. Ooh, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Fuck it. <laughs> I really don't want first aid. Oh, my days. Horrific. Yeah, just don't want um, first aid. It is useless to me. The guards here say they will only let those who fly the green flag pass. The guards note your green flag and offer to let you pass. Do you accept? I do. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I wonder if we should use Malcolm. Oh no, Malcolm's miles away actually. Let's get another hero, like a throwaway. 
I have a feeling they're going to say they want that um, pendant of courage for this. Oh, or not. Thank you for joining an old lady over a cup of tea, the old woman says. I won't be in this world much longer, so I'm giving away all my worldly possessions. To you, I give this nice teapot. Thank you, you say. That's for my most valuable possession. I'm saving it for someone of high experience. Only such a person is capable of using it wisely. Ah, you look wise enough to accept me most precious possession. This town portal spell, please use it wisely. Do you accept it? Fucking hell. <laughs> town portal, boys. <laughs> well, that was a pleasant surprise. Hell yeah, Jimmy. Ah, oh, that is amazing. <laughs> I, I don't know why I keep gravitating towards, like, brummies. <laughs> oh, I'd probably get in trouble for that. But. Oh, well. You shall laugh in it, lads. You shall laugh. In the cavern ahead, four red dragons are fighting with the single green dragon. It's too late to save the green dragon, but at least you can avenge its death. These are the tunnels to the Dungeon Overlords, the minions of the Dragon Queen of Nyon. Hell yeah it is. I have bad news, Tarnum, Aspen said, interrupting my dinner last night. How bad? You be the judge. I just learned that the spy you sent to watch Captain Velita is dead. There was an ambush last night, and although Velita and her men fought off the enemy, your spy was slain. I stood, clenched my fist at my side. I wasn't really upset that the spy was dead, that's war. But Aspen acted like he had caught me doing something wrong. How did you know about my spy? I said. You may be an immortal Tarnum, but you're an infant when it comes to spying. When selecting a spy, if you don't want me to know about it, you should have picked someone outside your army, Aspen said. You're an advisor, Aspen, not a teacher. I don't care about your spying and treachery. In fact, it disgusts me. Show me the enemy and let me defeat them, I said. The barbarian me was coming out. The enemy doesn't always fight for the other side, Tarnum. Remember that. What do you mean by that, Aspen? I said. But the elderly elf did not reply. Time to uh, defeat these guys down here, wherever they may be. Just grab this first. Finally attacking me, huh? Holy shit, that's a big army. Luckily, I have Town Portal. Which means I'd like to find their base before we have to head back, though. I grabbed Aspen by the arm before he had chance to mount up for the day's ride. You're going to tell me what you meant about enemies not always fighting for the other side, or I'll leave you here. I'll find another advisor, I said. Aspen tried to pull away, but my grip was too tight. 
He winced and I realised I was being too tough, so I let go. Aspen rubbed the place where I held him and said, Spies, Tarnum. You know that business you want nothing to do with. I'm talking about spies. I'm not the only one who practices such strategies. You're saying we have a spy in our midst. I don't know for sure, but haven't you noticed we've had far more ambushes lately than ever before? It's as if the enemy knows where to look for our troops. Now it could be a coincidence because I have been unable to find any factual evidence or our spy is very good at covering their tracks. But you have a suspect, I said. Aspen wouldn't be mentioning all this if all he had was a hunch. Then I thought back to the recent increase of ambushes. What changed? And then I knew. You think Captain Valita is the spy? Aspen nodded his head and said, but I will not accuse her until I have the evidence. I turned my back on my advisor and said, you're wrong about this, Aspen. I didn't have any evidence either, but I was going to guess it. Ooh, the plot thickens. Damn. I mean, it's possible? We have been getting ambushed a hell of a lot, actually. <laughs> Ironically. Hmm, food for thought. Let's see what's down here first. Ah, there's that base. Nice. How many enemies? Is just the one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go down here. Okay, let's pass. A tree falls blocking the path behind you. Then the rest of the ambush is sprung as a green dragon storms out of the deep forest. The dragon is immediately followed by grand elves intent on your destruction. get uh, money anymore. We're pretty rich. <laughs> Naturally. Alright, this looks like a pretty big fight, so let's take it. That is rather annoying. Ah, oh, the attack and defense is... <laughs> it's such a big difference. Head back to Stillwater. Not too festival. 
that guy. That was a pretty good spell. Take that. Resurrection Chain Lightning, jeez. And we go straight for the fight. We've only got 91 mana. What's in here? Keep using them. That's a big army. What's this one called? Uh, there's also an element of will I be able to get there in time? Man, Soundport was such a game changer for the rest of this campaign as well. Woof. I've thought long and hard about the matter with Valita, and as much as I refuse to accept that she's a spy for the enemy, there is a chance I am wrong. Aspen knows spies well, and if he suspects her then I would be stupid not to listen. Although I'm not going to let Aspen know that, so I've decided to promote Valita to my Master of Arms. That way she'll always be at my side where I can keep an eye on her. As soon as I've found the Gold Dragon Mothers, I'll remove her from her command. Right now the dragons must be saved, spy or not. Oh, really? Whale. That was most unfortunate. Oh, maybe they've got another base down there. I am catching up. The benefit of having logistics. It could be a hard fight. This is probably the biggest fight of this mission. <laughs> right back at me, huh?
<laughs> oh man. Okay. That was a very well played. Very well played. Nice artifacts. Yoink. Dragon Slayer might actually be a pretty good spell for us. Right, let's see what's down here then. curious what we do actually get from uh, getting the uh, 10 spell power knowledge. I don't suspect them having any more, but they're not dead yet. I'm hoping Valita doesn't um, turn on us because she's actually very strong. <laughs> and she's got logistics, which is great. Okay, that's red out. So, what does this actually give us? Okay, that's pretty good. Hmm. 
All right, let's go still water. You come a quietly upon a pair of green dragons and listen as they talk. They scream like little children, says one. The second one laughs and says, And they are supposed to be wise ones, these scholars. <laughs> Dumb or smart, they all taste the same. That's right. This is not the kind of talk you expect to hear from green dragons. Utari's control over the dragons must be very strong indeed to change their personality as well. Nice. How do you complain with that? That's for sure. Okay, we are getting crazy strong already. Like, to the point of absurdity. The young man at the door smiles as you walk up. I can tell you're worthy of the master's instructions. Please wait here. The door closes, then immediately opens again and you see the same young man standing there with a fake white beard. I am ready to teach you my secrets, he says. You try not to laugh as the man's ridiculous disguise. Do you enter the hut? Hell yeah. Right, so the only other thing that was here was this for which for one knowledge. I don't think Belita got that either, did she? And there was Glade Root. In these bad times, with all these desertions, I have no soldiers to protect my lands. If you can train me a hundred battle tools, I'll give you twenty well-trained unicorns. This land will definitely feel safe with the hundred battle dwarves. Are they ready? Nice. It's a pretty good trade. Right, let's grab this. The Guardians of the Shield <coughs> of the Damned stand ready to defend it with their lives. No matter how hard you plead, they won't give up the artifact. Do you wish to fight them for the shield? Yes. Okay, well, character-wise, our guys are just insanely strong now. Um, so this was what spell implosion? Okay, nice. I'm just... Okay, these ones can't get mage guilds. This one can. This one can't. This one can. That was Rainhaven. How far can this go up? Let's see. Okay, got so much money, let's just um <clears throat> just go crazy. There's nothing else to spend it on, so Mutual shower's not bad. Mm, okay, whenever. Not the best spells, but it's fine. Really love for that to be uh, 
logistics. It won't be, but it'd be nice. Eh, resistance, no good. The guards say they will only let Tarnum pass. At last, it is Tarnum. Do you wish to pass? Yes. You see the red and black dragon guards watching over the gold dragon mothers. Rescue the gold dragons, but you realise you must first kill all the guards before you can unchain the dragon mothers. You wouldn't want any of them dying in battle. However, you do notice the dragon caves where the young green dragons dwell. They would certainly join you to free their mothers. Wow, oh, that is a lot of dragons. You dribble a drop of blood of vial onto the head of each of the dragon mothers. One by one they open their eyes and rise to their full majestic height. Oh thank you Tarnum dragon friend. Utari's influence over us has slipped away forever. Cool. You'll say the same thing, so... A single gold dragon is curled up here, much larger than all the others. You drip a spot of blood from the vial onto her head, and slowly she awakes. This is the eldest of the dragon mothers, and she smiles when she sees some of the other gold dragons are awake as well. I knew someone would come for us. I never lost hope even when Mutari's voice was within my skull. Congratulations, you have over 10 gold dragons in your armies. Your enemies have no choice but to bow down before your power.